Today we're taking a look at altcoins that are doing phenomenally well after they dip, ones that recover very quickly that you should be capitalizing on when we see a crypto dips. Because as we all know, altcoins and cryptocurrency, they do not go straight up forever and ever. There are going to be dips. We have seen a few throughout the last few weeks and more are to come. And these altcoins, when they dip, let's say they go down 10, 15%, well, they do recover cover very well and very quickly so we're gonna go through that list but if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these videos smash the like button it truly helps the channel and i appreciate it a ton and of course we do have a completely free discord if you want to find even more value so the bitcoin having is happening in about a month's time towards the end of april 2024 and as we've said before forward time and time again i do believe that the peak of the bull market is going to be anywhere from a year to a year and a half after the bitcoin having this is basically based off of history and if we take a look at the total of three market cap this is essentially the market cap of all altcoins right now. And if we take a look at where we are for, you know, the day today, we're sitting right around at $710 billion worth of market cap. And if we take a look at where we were back in 2021, it was at $1.13 trillion. So we're not even close to where we were back in 2021. And to get there, we would need a about a 58% gain on the entire altcoins market cap so again this just illustrates that i am still bullish on altcoins and i would be continuing to accumulate my favorite ones but as we see it's not all a straight up i mean if i put you on a day chart for altcoins market cap well we saw a local peak right around 790 billion dollars worth of market cap and then the matter of a few days this was down quite heavily we can see it went down about 17 18 percent before recovering about to 10 percent so obviously there's going to be fluctuations but in the long term i do believe that most altcoins are going to do well and i do believe that we are going to see this total three market cap for altcoins reach a new all-time high as we get into this peak bull market but if we take a look at some altcoins that do recover very well and very fast after a dip we can talk about Ondu Finance. This one here has everything to do with RWA narrative. So real world assets, tokenized assets. That is essentially going to be a massive narrative in the future. I don't think it's as hyped up as gaming and as AI, but I do see institutions and more real world applications with RWA. And if we just take a look at Ondu, well, it's sitting right now at 74 cents. If we take a look at its market cap, we're sitting just around $1 billion. And just taking a look at Ondu, I mean, as it's as I said, every time this one dips, it just goes crazy after. So just a few days ago, it was around $0.41, cents and it basically did a 100% gain in the matter of a day or two. So a very nice run on Ondu here. Definitely one to watch if we take a closer look at the actual chart on a trading view well if i bring you to a four hour chart we definitely see that it dipped all the way down to about 37 cents and in the matter of a few days after you know we saw some altcoins recovering bitcoin recovering well this one here just outperformed basically everything going to about a 115 percent gain in about two days now of course it's a bit on a recovery right now but it has literally pumped in the matter of a few days so this is number one definitely put this one on your watch list on do finance i do believe that this one is going to be one to have because of the rwa narrative now moving on to altcoin number two we have to talk about ethereum because there is a lot happening with ethereum right now and it being the number two coin well it is also going to recover well when the market recovers so just taking a look at where it is right now it's at 3500 just a few days ago maybe a week ago this thing was at four thousand dollars and just recently as we saw the entire market dip well ethereum was not spared and it went all the way down to about 3100 and it did recover very well 
going all the way back to about $3,600. So again, taking a look at Ethereum's chart here, we do see a dip all the way to about 3060 And then in a matter of a few days, it was back up around 3600 So again, had you bought the dip on Ethereum, well, you would have been up a whopping 17% in the matter of a few days. So this is what I'm saying every time there is a dip, you have to look at some of these altcoins because it is often that they do recover very well and they do recover very quickly. And just taking a look at some more Ethereum news. Well, recently we had a lot of Ethereum in the news and we just see that the Ethereum Foundation itself is facing an inquiry from a government agency. It doesn't specify which one, but obviously we can assume that it probably is the SEC and they are looking into Ethereum's foundation. So this is quite interesting. And on top of that, it also says that Ether ETFs likely won't get approved in May because of you know this inquiry the sec may try to deem ethereum as an actual security so this is development that we have to keep track on because i believe this is just another way that the sec is trying to delay the ethereum etfs and i personally believe that it is going to be you know approved down the road whether or not it's in may or even further down i do see an ethereum etf happening and even if you know this gets delayed more maybe ethereum dips more but with ethereum being the number two coin i don't see this one going anywhere and as we enter this peak bull market i do see ethereum breaking all-time highs now moving on to altcoin at number three that always recovers very well we can talk about avalanche ticker avax here it's sitting right around a 54 dollars a 20 billion dollar market cap but just taking a look at what has happened as you know the entire crypto space was dipping we had avalanche towards 64 dollars back on march 18th and then we saw the crypto dip it went all the way down to about 50 51 dollars and quickly after it was back around 57 58 dollars so avalanche is one i am very bullish on not only for the financial partners they have but also for crypto gaming and if you're not familiar with avax and crypto gaming i would recommend getting educated on it because i believe that avax is one of the better blockchains for crypto gaming especially with their subnets so if we take a look at avax's chart well as we see a massive dip on avax but we did identify this range anywhere from you know 5150 all the way to 55 i do imagine this is a very interesting range to continue accumulating avax that is not financial advice it's just my opinion we see every time it reaches around this 51 or even 50 dollar range that is a critical level of support and if we take a look at what happened when it dipped all the way to about $50.50, well, it pumped all the way back up a 15% in the matter of a day or two. So very, very quick recovery. Of course, we're seeing it bleed a bit again, but the entire crypto space is again falling and reversing back towards the lower levels. But ultimately, AVAX is another one I would have my eye on as we see crypto dips because I again believe AVAX is going to do tremendously well as we continue on with this bull market now moving on to altcoin at number four we can talk about one of the deep in plays that we have we can talk about flux it's sitting at a dollar 40 a market cap of 475 million and if we take a look at the last seven days well we do have a nice peak on flux right around a dollar 70 or so and it has dipped with the entire cryptocurrency space but it has found some key support right around a dollar 30 and it has mainly stayed in that range since so it hasn't recovered as well as the three other ones that we did talk about previously but the reason i am talking about flux is that it is holding some key levels of support and that looks to be right around this dollar 30 so again 
as flux continues to dip if it does i would expect a dollar 30 to be a very interesting level of support a dollar 25 to a dollar 30 which coincides with uh, the levels of support that we're seeing on this chart here and i do believe that the upside on flux is uh, much higher than two dollars especially as you know we get into this bull market especially as you know we get the bitcoin having then altcoins following suit within the next year or so i do see flux hitting new highs and it has been on a very good recovery over the last months as what well, as we saw back in 2021's bull market flux was around at three dollars i do think there are even more eyes on flux more development so again this dollar 40 price that it is today i do see it being much higher in you know the peak bull market as we see all altcoins do potentially well so this is another one i would keep my eye on it it's doing very well as you know it's pumped it's recovered to very key levels of support and this one here is definitely one to monitor in this narrative so moving on and switching gears let's talk about some crypto gaming coins we can talk about zay games this one here is its own layer three on arbitrum as well as on ethereum so we have ethereum layer one arbitrum layer two and then zay is their layer three it has a market cap of 345 million right now the price of zay is sitting at a dollar 25 but if we take a look at what has transpired over the last few days with this crypto dip well zay went all the way down to about one dollar so literally just a few days ago zay was at a dollar which is absolutely crazy because i think there are big things coming to zay especially in crypto gaming and just in the matter of a day or two well this thing pumped a 25 percent even at you know a local high of roughly 30 percent so one dollar definitely a key level for zay as we can see as soon as it hit that people were willing to buy and push the price back up and right now it's still up about 25 percent from that dip now altogether zay you know it did reach a high of roughly a dollar 50 a dollar 60 but I do think that Zay is one of the top contenders for, you know, crypto gaming in the next bull market with them being one of the first layer threes on crypto gaming. I do think that they are appealing to a wider audience of gamers and not necessarily crypto gamers, but gamers as a whole. So Zay, in my opinion, is one that you should have in your watch list if you are bullish on crypto gaming because of you know the endless capabilities of its own blockchain so moving on to the next altcoin we can talk about pith or pyth network i do believe i'm always pronouncing it wrong but i also believe it's called the pith network let me know in the comment section below how you actually pronounce this but because solana has done very well the pit network token is also doing well and this is your oracle system for solana and many other chains so there is you know a lot of hype on solana solana broke 210 dollars just a few days ago it has consolidated since but pith has done phenomenally well too but pith has also done very well and is still holding quite strong so if we take a look at the pits chart here well we do see that it is very strong over the last you know several weeks it has continued to melt upwards and we can see that every time it touches this 90 cent range right around here it does correlate to some nice support we do see earlier in the last few days we had some support right around here which correlates with this previous high but ultimately i would monitor pith as well because throughout this dip on march 18th well it dipped about 24 percent and quickly after it was back up to about you know another 26 percent so it essentially erased the dip in the matter of a day or two which is good to see it's good to see that people are you know excited about this project they are seeing good value on it which is why this dip is being bought up very quickly now of course it is down about 95 cents today but i would expect to see some sort of support around at this 90 cent level and again this is another one that i would continue to monitor as we continue seeing dips because if you compare it to its competitor which is a chain link 
Well, this one here is at a $1.4 billion valuation. And if we take a look at Chainlink, well, Chainlink is at a much higher valuation around 11 billion. So of course, it depends on the one that you do like more. I do think that Chainlink is still, you know, the behemoth of everything. But ultimately, I do see, you know, a lot of value in Pith Network. Now, going back to crypto gaming, we can talk about Echelon Prime, Ticker Prime. This one here over the last seven days just decided to not dip because it doesn't want to follow what cryptocurrencies are doing. And we can see that, you know, it is basically up 50% over the last seven days it has a market cap of roughly 700 million a very interesting ecosystem if you're into crypto gaming and ai i would definitely put this one on your watch list because over you know the last months this thing has gone absolutely crazy from about you know one dollar or dollar 20 all the way to 26 dollars this is one that is seeing a lot of momentum even on these dips we can see a massive buy pressure the continuation on this one is very impressive in my opinion so even though i've missed the boat from a dollar 22 to 26 dollars i'm still monitoring this and potentially if it dips a lot more in future dips because again remember there are going to be more dips don't just ape into something because it's up 50 percent or 100 percent just wait for a 10 to 20% correction and then start buying the ones you want to be buying. And Echelon Prime is definitely one that's going to be on my radar during this next dip. Now, alongside, we can talk about Caspa. There is a whole lot of hype about Caspa. You know, probably four or five months ago, everyone was talking about it. And now I don't see many people talking about it. And Caspa reached a low of about 12, 11 cents during this dip and it's quickly recovered to 15 cents so if you were bullish on caspa you know back in the day four or five months ago because it feels like an eternity well you should still be bullish on a caspa because nothing has changed in a bad way the development is continuing people are still very enthusiastic about caspa and as you see these dips caspa has a good reputation of just crushing dips as they happen so again it quickly went to 12 11 cents and it's quickly back up to 15 percent now lastly if we just take a look at some of the narratives i am continuing to monitor as we see these dips well first and foremost we cannot avoid but to talk about meme coins some of the meme coins i am looking at would be whiff pepe flocky bonk book of meme i mean this thing is up 762 percent over the last seven days it saw you know the dip and it said no thank you i'm gonna go up another 100 percent we also have a slurf here so meme coins that definitely need to be on your radar if we take a look at book of meme over the last seven days it is up 750 percent it has dipped a bit but again the dip was earlier than all of the other altcoins dip just because of the pure rationale that it was up you know a thousand percent overnight it makes no sense but that is the joy of memes a lot of money can be made but again do remember that these dips are going to happen and if you FOMO at the very top you're likely going to lose money in the short term so that is why i would consolidate and so that is why i would wait for some consolidations and of course book of meme here is the prime example of that but these are definitely ones that you need to continue watching some of the top meme coins if you're trying to snipe some of the little ones you can always do that but there are much riskier assets to try and make money with i would try and stick with the bigger names which you know have a lot more volume and a lot more eyes on because it's just safer to do so that way now another narrative that i continue looking at as we see crypto dips it has to be ai and big data we can talk about deep in as well so we have near protocol render we have graph theta fetch a cache a singularity net look at these percentages they are all still dipping quite nicely and i am looking at these key levels of support waiting to see exactly where these will consolidate dollar cost averaging on some key levels of support as we continue seeing dips and of course this doesn't necessarily mean that it is going to continue dipping where it is going to go back up 
But if you have a game plan and you have a set amount of money that you want to put in some specific coins, this is what you should be watching as we see these dips because some of these coins are going to do very well. And even they're down, you know, 10 to 20% today. Well, think of the long-term portfolio. Think of a years down the road of where these coins are going to be as we get the Bitcoin halving and all of the other factors that we've talked about in other videos. I do see these coins doing very well. Similarly with crypto gaming, I again do like and love crypto gaming. Coins like Immutable, Beam, we have some bags of Gala, we have Miria, we have so many of these. We've talked about Zay. So again, these are some of the ones I'm looking at as well as launch pads. We have a paid network, Cedify here. So these are the ones I'm looking to continue adding on dips. And I do believe that if you capitalize on those dips, you are going to set yourself up for a better bull market. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know the coins that you are looking at during these dips, because as we have to remember, crypto doesn't go straight up. There are going to be dips. We saw one this week. We saw one last week. So do remember that there are going to be dips. And the key to success is to dollar cost average during these dips and wait for the next bull market or continue taking profits along the way. So with that being said, smash the like button if you've enjoyed. Join the free Discord. There's a link in the description below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.